what would you say is the Oilers' biggest deficiency from last season that needs to be corrected for this season? This was actually a mailbag question, so shout out to Blake for that one. You'll also see your responses on Monday at 7 a.m. on the website. I'm going to say the date. It's uh, September, September 15th, 15th, 2023, and I'm still saying this. To me, our issue is defensive depth. Uh, we The next person up mentality uh, just isn't quite there yet, and that's where it's – I understand and I recognize the issue is the cap, and that's – We have know, seven NHL quality defensemen. Seven and a half. I think seven, yeah, seven and a half. I would argue actually. that as a franchise, you need at least eight – Find me one yeah, franchise no, that no, has eight of these because, defensemen where none of them turn out to be a sort of kind of Broberg-esque player or a sign, sort of kind of uh, Vinny-esque player. I ha- I, I'm, not, I'm not discrediting those players. I'm just no, no, but, that, no, but I'm just saying every team out there has th- those same players who are considered NHLers, but we don't consider our, ours NHLers because we have this fear of something going absolutely wrong again i'm i'm just (laughs) looking for i'm looking for games played in the nhl that means nothing uh i disagree for there's a kid there's a kid in toronto there's a kid in chicago who's gonna outscore a ton of guys who've played hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of nhl games but i'm not oh kind of a (laughs) (laughs) i'm not talking about about, yeah i'm not i'm not talking about a draft pick here i'm talking about an issue that's been oilers issue for years and years and years they just like we brought in Ryan Murray last year and was supposed to fix this issue. We brought in um, what, what issue do we have last year on having, defense? Having defensive depth so that if what the issue next did, we player that issue goes down year, for long? No, I know we didn't. Yes, you're right. We we had the issue up front where was which was where most of our players that got hurt were from. But to me, this we we were walking on borrowed time when it comes to our defense. Oh, good Lord. Not a chance. I know. I, I, you asked. We have two, the guys, question was we have asked. two guys about the to question start. The question was asked. We have two guys about what to, is the weakest issue on this team? We have two guys team. about to start That's their, the about to like really take off their NHL careers. And the other five are well-established NHL defensemen. I admire your optimism, Rick. I don't agree that necessarily. Why would we think about that, anything else? That Broberg and DeHarnay are ready to just explode. I don't think that they're bad NHL players by any means. I would just feel comfortable having the ability to slide in somebody from below them if they were struggling and not force it through the mouth or through the teeth like we did with um, with DeHarnay last year when he was struggling and he was forced to be in when the When did lineup. he struggle last year? I would he, like to know this. After after his, what, 13, 14 games where they didn't, they didn't lose the game for him, that's when it started to kind of just fall no, apart for him a little bit and i would have loved to have seen another nhl ready to guy just come in and play a couple games for him and then get him so back instead in. of allowing a player to play through his his yips downs you want to replace him with somebody else yes that's that's so instead that's of the allowing question, play, no, the question asked what is our issue and i think downs, have no i think having defensive depth so fixes that for you Ugh. Rick, what's your okay. if, what's we, your if, we, if we had if we had our <laughs> like, down if he had a down answer, last year Rick? and we had that Ryan Rick, Murray here answer? if we had a down last year and we had Ryan Murray here they never used Ryan Murray at all the oh, only reason they they brought up Ryan Murray last year yeah. was at the end of the year it was more of a goodwill type of a situation it, that, exactly but they wanted they would they do you, you think that they didn't the want to have like a player Murray. we had a player like Ryan no Murray. no they, they tried him. it with Ryan Murray last year it didn't succeed they didn't they try it with Jason Demers last year and it didn't they didn't try Ryan Murray at all. They did. They had him on the team, and he wasn't able to be better he didn't get a, than he, DeHarnay. He didn't get any ice time till the end of the year, which was just uh, yeah, out of like You're proving respect. my point, Rick. You're proving my point. Is oh, that not, this I'm telling you, he was never good depth. enough to be on the team. That's, these players are better. These players are better. Broberg and DeHarnay are both better than your Ryan Murray's and Jason Demers's. Yes, and that's the issue right there. The team needs better options to come in and fix that. For the depth, I don't so think you're proving my point. You're proving, you, I really appreciate no, you. You've got my some point. sort of. You just keep you, saying no. the guys that I'm pointing to and saying that were the issue last year. I think that they need a better versions of those guys. So just trade them both to come in. So just get rid of them both. No, I didn't say that. You did. The question Liam asked. No, the, NHL. the question Liam asked have played was. More games. You, the question Liam asked was, "What is the biggest weakness for this team going into the season?" My answer is defensive depth. Rick's answer is. Not defensive depth. 